A couple of months ago, I showed you the Synology DS1618 Plus 6-bay disk station. It's network-attached storage, so it keeps your files safe and separate from your computer. It's a computer in its own right, and when set up in a RAID 6 configuration like I did, it's a part of my overall backup strategy. The great part about the DS1618 Plus is that it holds up to six drives, and that's a huge plus, especially if you have terabytes and terabytes of images. Some of you commented on that video, wow, that's exactly what I need, while others of you are looking for a way to have a solid backup process, but you don't exactly need six drive bays. Enter the DS218 Plus. Let's call this the baby brother of its larger sibling. Don't let the two bay configuration fool you though. It is a powerhouse of its own, but it costs less to own and less to fill with drives. You're getting the same technology of their larger enterprise class units, but in a smaller package designed for a home user or a small office. Now I mentioned the group of you out there that commented that the larger Synology unit was exactly what you were looking for. Others of you said that you wanted something smaller though, like this DS218 Plus. But I also imagine that there are a group of you out there who aren't entirely sure what you need or why a setup like this is beneficial or how exactly you would use it. So let's chat about that. First, what do these store? Well, these drives can help you store and backup anything. For many of you, that means photos and videos, so I'm gonna focus on that. But keep in mind that any files that you want to back up can be backed up. But let's look at some of the numbers. The raw files from the Sony Alpha 7 R3 that I'm filming on right now are a bit over 43 megabytes each, and they are around 55 megabytes each from the new Nikon Z7. Depending on how much you shoot, that's going to add up fast. And if you like to do video, you're talking potentially dozens of gigabytes in an afternoon of shooting. It's crazy. And speaking from personal experience, just when I thought I was crushing it with a bunch of external hard drives, I ended up with an unmanaged and kind of unmanageable situation. I was pretty much keeping everything under control, but it was getting out of hand and it was time for a better solution. For all of my images and video, the larger DS1618 Plus became my permanent backup solution along with cloud backups. And then there's an off-site drive that I keep another copy of everything on, but that's a manual process and it's a bit superfluous. What I have realized though, since I put that Synology unit into place is that I like to keep my active projects from my laptop backed up but separate from my more permanent image archives. So I put the DS218 Plus into place for that. The smaller size was perfect for it. And if you aren't a YouTuber or shooting hundreds of photos a day, this unit with two drive bays can be just as effective without buying more capacity than you really need. What I'm most impressed about with the DS218 Plus is that when you log in and configure it, it's the same apps and features as the more expensive models. What Synology could have done is crippled the lower capacity units to try to steer you toward the high capacity ones, but they didn't. You have the same ability to set it up so that you can access it remotely, set it to automatically back up to cloud services, or in my case, set it up so my MacBook can back up to it automatically using Apple Time Machine. And just as with the larger DS1618 Plus, it's a completely seamless backup process. And I conducted the initial setup of the DS218 Plus in a matter of minutes. One thing that I have emphasized before about storage is not having all of your eggs in one basket. And by that, I mean, don't keep your only copy or copies of files under one roof. Anything can happen. No one wants to think about catastrophes all the time, but you do want to be prepared in case something does happen. One way to spread out those backups is to use a cloud service. Synology has their own integrated, but you're not tied to it. You can actually use others with it. Now, I know some of you aren't comfortable with cloud services for one reason or another. There is a cool feature with these Synology disk stations though. You can basically set up your own cloud service if you have two of them in two different locations. They don't even have to be the same model. You can put one in your home, another in another location, a friend's house, your office, and they can actually back up to one another automatically. It's called the Cloud Station Suite and it will actually 
backup disk stations, computers, and mobile devices with versioning. And that means that when you delete something by accident, <laughs> you can bring it back from the dead. Now you do use the internet for this, but your stuff isn't stored on someone else's servers and you don't pay a monthly fee. And that's the thing, peace of mind, no matter what way you do it. There are a lot of two drive based solutions out there. I've had some here in the studio, but if they're complicated to set up or can't manage themselves, then they lose value. With this little guy or with its bigger brother, you get the same ability to keep it super simple with one computer and one backup or use it as a part of a larger backup scheme for all of your devices. And once you have it in motion, it stays in motion automatically keeping your files safe for when stuff happens. Like always, check the links in the description of this video for the latest availability and pricing information on Amazon. As you may know, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so when you use my links and purchase these and other items through Amazon, it is one small way to help keep my channel up and running, so thanks to those of you that use those links. Also, like always, I invite you to use the comments down below to ask questions or talk about the backup setup that you have or the one that you're building toward. I know backups aren't like the sexiest topic to discuss, but without backups, all of those images that you're creating day after day are at risk. And the great thing is that here in 2018, losing photos and videos and other files is completely preventable. So that's all. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.